When discussing electric car startups, there's an awful lot of scepticism from both journalists and electric car fans alike when it comes to some of the claims being made of cars that have yet to hit the market. And that's for a very good reason. In the last decade, we've seen more startups with grandiose claims crash and burn than a little. In fact, I've seen more claims exaggerated more times than I've had hot dinners. And we've actually only seen very few companies actually make it to market. Lucid is one company which I think stands a chance to follow Tesla to that marketplace because of its solid financial status and also the quality of the engineers and the executive staff there. Not to mention the fact that it's nearing completion of its Arizona-based production facility and will soon be revealing a production-ready version of its Lucid Air sedan. Financially, it's backed to the tune of more than 1.3 billion US dollars by the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund. And when it comes to the company's technical prowess, its staff includes some pretty great and good in the world of cleaner cars. Even its CEO and CTO, Peter Rawlinson, has a pretty impressive engineering background. First as principal engineer at Jaguar Cars, then chief engineer at Lotus Cars, and head of vehicle engineering at Chorus Automotive. Oh, and he also happened to be the vice president of vehicle engineering, as well as being chief engineer at a time when Tesla was making the Model S. Last week, ahead of next month's big online reveal event for the Air, Lucid announced that a pre-production Air had achieved more than 517 miles of range per charge on the EPA test cycle. To be clear though, that was a test following the EPA test procedure at an official trustworthy testing facility in Michigan, rather than an actual EPA confirmed range test. But since that's the same as most automakers do ahead of production launches, it's not really something that I think will change that much when the EPA actually approves it. That incredible feat will, assuming Lucid can bring the air to market next year as planned, before the second generation Tesla Roadster, make the air the longest legged electric car on sale. But as fans of Tesla will note, Lucid does not have access to the Tesla supercharging network. Yet today, Lucid announced something that certainly goes a significant way to closing the gap when it comes to charging. The Air will not only be capable of charging at a maximum rate of 300 kilowatts at a compatible DC quick charging station, which adds up to 20 miles of range per minute, but for US customers, it will also come with unlimited free DC quick charging on the Electrify America network for a total of three years. And if that isn't enough, the Lucid Air will ship a standard with a 19.2 kilowatt onboard AC charger that can charge from a home charging station at speeds of up to 80 miles of range per hour. Finally, Lucid said the Air's onboard charging system, which it says is based upon its proprietary Wonderbox technology, will be ready for V2G connectivity straight out of the factory. This could make the Lucid Air the first CCS compatible car to ship with vehicle to grid and vehicle to everything technology enabled at launch. This could allow customers to use the car's onboard battery pack as both an emergency backup power station in the event of a power outage, as well as useful in other situations where mains electricity isn't available. Although we don't know the final battery pack capacity for the Lucid Air, we know it's less than the original 130 kilowatt hour packs of early prototypes, but more than 100 kilowatt hours. That does translate to several days of heavy electricity use for even the most demanding of homes, or perhaps more than a week if you are a very energy efficient person. At this point, I'm sure that many will point out that there's not actually a V2G compatible charging station out there for CCS cars. But that was the other part of Lucid's announcement today. Partnering with Qmerit, Lucid will be offering customers a two-way charging station that is not only capable of high-power home charging, assuming your home electrical board has enough capacity in it, but also offer V2G capabilities. To install a charging station, Lucid has set up a digital survey through Qmerit, which will allow customers to easily figure out what would be required for an installation, then have the installation booked and carried out by a local qualified electrician. Given the fact that the Lucid Air is a premium car, and let's be honest, the price is likely to be similarly high, I'm honestly expecting a six-figure price tag. Lucid also helpfully notes in its press release that the V2G system in the Lucid Air, when partnered with a compatible V2G charger, could even be used to ensure those with holiday homes can power their homes from their cars 
on vacation. It certainly beats having a second power bill or maybe a noisy petrol generator out back, but that's most certainly a hashtag first world problem that most people watching this channel, and even myself, will not ever have to worry about. So where does this leave us? Well, so far, I'm really impressed with what I've seen from the Lucid Air, and thanks to spy shots posted online earlier this week of an SUV variant at a photo shoot in California, adjacent to a production-ready Air, I can certainly say that the Lucid Air isn't the only car coming to market from the company, and Peter Rawlinson has told us as much in the past. If we tie all of this together with what we already know about the Air, its long range, its 2.5 second sprint time and plan for full autonomy, Lucid certainly has on paper a lot of what it would need to become a viable alternative to Tesla in the marketplace. I should note here that Peter Rawlinson has said publicly several times that Lucid isn't interested in competing against Tesla, but it's more interested in being a technology company eager to help accelerate the transition to electric vehicles. For those of us who believe that forty or even $30,000 is a lot of money to spend on a new car, I do, Lucid's current offerings are way out of our price point. But since Lucid seems to be a technology company rather than a traditional automaker, let's hope that the technology being showcased soon in the 900 volt Lucid Air, rapid charging, V2G et al, is allowed to trickle down into more mainstream products, either from Lucid itself or other more mainstream brands. And given that Lucid says it's got a prototype energy storage product already in use at its headquarters in the Bay Area, well, it suggests that Lucid could follow Tesla in more than just automotive terms, building a wider, more connected offering of products into the future. Sure, the factory isn't 100% complete yet, and a company entering production is by no means validation that that firm will continue into sustainable profitability. But I for one can't wait to see what the future holds for Lucid. Where other companies have offered bluster and double talk, Lucid is engaged in the technology beneath, and that seems to show through, just as Tesla is. And I think that means we're going to see good things ahead for the brand. That's it. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.